Welcome again to another Midweek Moment. And let us again begin with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. For those who ordered t-shirts, they will be ready for pickup on Friday and Saturday. Father Ton will make himself available for, any, for anyone who wishes to stop by the office either of those days to pick up the ordered t-shirts. As of now, we are no longer taking orders, but we do have a lot of youth medium and youth large for purchase. And don't forget to wear your St. Julie t-shirts to Mass this Labor Day weekend. Registration for our faith formation of our children is now open. Please register your children as soon as possible. It will help in planning for this coming year. If you are willing to volunteer as a catechist, please contact Pat Kamak in the office. Again, we are also looking for volunteers so that we can resume our monthly bingo as soon as possible. If you are interested and willing, please let me know through the office. Anticipating the 20th anniversary of 9-11, the memorial flag will be displayed in the narthex this coming weekend. Then the weekend of 9-11 and 9-12, votive candles will be added to the display. Parishioners will be welcome to light a votive candle in honor of those who, whose lives were lost in that tragic event. And we will also say a special prayer of peace during the liturgies the weekend of 9-11 and 12. Young at Heart is slowly resuming its activities with its, with its first luncheon. Tickets will be on sale. For more information, please speak with Joanne Tuzik or Deacon Ed. The group has decided to start off slowly, especially given the circumstances of the time. A group known as the Shepherds of Bethlehem will be here at the parish the weekend of September 25 and 26. This is a group that sells carved olive wood items from the Holy Land. The proceeds will be used to support the remaining Christians in the Holy Land who continue to become the minority and oftentimes struggle to survive. Your support will be greatly appreciated. Labor Day weekend has usually been nicknamed as the end of the summer season. For many people, it is the last long weekend holiday until perhaps Thanksgiving. It also marks the end of summer vacation for many of our young people if they have not already returned to school. As we celebrate Labor Day, weekend, Labor Day this coming weekend, I would like us to keep several specific groups of people in our prayer even as many of us enjoy the long, long weekend off of work or school. First, let us pray for all those who are still working. Let us keep in special prayer those who do not find life in their line of work, but need to stay in order to be able to survive and support families. The church has believed that fair and just work is important for the sustenance of people's lives. For this very reason, the church was among the first to support and encourage the formation of labor unions, which would help to advance and protect the rights of workers. Labor is essential because it helps to give a sense of meaning and purpose to people's lives. Of course, let us keep in our prayers those who are unemployed or may have lost their jobs, especially during the COVID period. We can all imagine how tough it is to lose a source of income. St. Joseph would be a great advocate in heaven to turn to in praying for those in search of employment. Let us pray for also our youth and young adults who, or who have or will be returning to school. For those of us who have long been, have long been since, for those of us who have long since been out of school, we still remember the struggles of learning. Some of us remember college days that were spent with long nights preparing for papers or exams. We may still even remember the joy we felt in our younger years in grammar and high school. We know the ups and downs, and so let us keep them in our prayers as they have begun a new year of learning. Let us pray that all students may not be discouraged, 
by the low moments, but always find joy in what they learn. Let us pray as well for their teachers that they may continue to enjoy imparting wisdom and knowledge upon their students. And let us not forget to pray for all those who are retired and have put in their dues as the saying goes. Let us pray that they are able to enjoy this time and the fruits of their labor. And finally, in this time of history, we cannot forget to pray for those men and women who labor so bravely in the front lines. We remember those in our military, especially those assigned to war-torn regions. We pray for first responders and those whose work focuses on the safety of all people. And let, us pray for the, uh, let us also pray for those who work to rebuild their lives after natural disasters and those who give of themselves to assist in that effort. I know that this is not an exhaustive list of people to pray for during this Labor Day weekend. For whoever needs our prayers, let us all bring them before God this Labor Day weekend and request that God bring them and all and us all good things as only God can do. Let us pray once again that God will bless our labor. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. O God, through who, o God, who through human labor never ceased to perfect and govern the vast work of creation, listen to the supplications of your people and grant that all men and women may find work that befits their dignity, joins them more closely to one another, and enables them to serve their neighbor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May God bless you all. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.